Hey everybody, today is Saturday and I am really excited because I am on my way to do a photo shoot. And uh, I'm so excited. The photo shoot is inspired by Wicked, the musical. Erica is the photographer and I'm going to be the model. And this is actually something I've been wanting to do for quite some time and today's the day we're finally going to do this. Looking outside right now, there's a, it's a little bit windy, but that's good. And also the weather is cloudy, which is perfect because when I go to when we go to Photoshop uh, uh, the pictures, it'll be easy to Photoshop the clouds to look like a sunset or a sunrise, depending on what I, what we're doing. Okay, so yeah. Anyway, I am gonna put my shoes on and then I'm going to Erica's. And then you guys can see her do my makeup. Alright, I don't know what steps you want me to do, but this is how I'm going to do it for my personal benefit. I'm going to set your face first. This is never the first step you should do. And I'm going to do that to help everything stay together. This is my version of the translucent powder. It's really just a very, very pale... color, but it does basically the same things. It's so pale that it has no color in it. So it should work the same. Usually I wouldn't do this except that the color isn't going to matter as long as it's even. Theoretically, I could go and make your face blue and it wouldn't matter. Assuming that this brush is good. Because see, this isn't really sticking to your skin uh -huh. because you'd need an astringent help you out. That's why I set your face first. It's still not really sticking to your skin at all. But it's better than nothing. Oh, that works so much better than a foundation. Yes, who's a genius? This girl's a genius. Okay. <laughs> that was a genius idea. That foundation would not have done that. Because this stuff is freaking thick. A cover-up is meant to be like really thick so that if you only use it in one spot, uh -huh. it'll also blend really well. Wow, look at that side of your face. Wow. Yeah. You are a genius. Maybelline's in this? No, this is CoverGirl. CoverGirl Invisible Concealer. For future reference, if you ever feel like, you know, making your face invisible. Just moist, right, I assume? Yeah. Okay, foundation's on. Mm -hmm. It's time for the green. You don't want to give them, like, a, a surround video of mm. how that cover-up looks? Yeah, check out this. Here, you do this. Check out this cover up. That's all she used was just cover up. Decided not to use the foundation, but you can see the texture's still there, but all the color is gone. Go where I want you to go. That's what the sponge is this for. This thing sucks because it's not. Are you supposed to be using a sponge for this? No, the brush is just to get all over. The sponge is to get the place where the brush. Oh, I'm like, ah. Cause yeah, this brush is bothering me, officially. Because it sucks for stippling. Like, it's good for getting just mass amounts of area, but it yeah. sucks for everything else. Yeah, that's why I said sponges to help get in the tiny places where the big brush won't fit. And if you have, like, an older brush that you don't mind turning green... Oh, well, I can clean a brush. You can use that, too. Look up? No, look up, actually, like, look up. With your eyeballs. Open your eyes and look up. <laughs> I'm going to try and do as much of this without a, a different brush as possible. Just for cleaning purpose. You don't need to uh, open your mouth. Do you feel green yet? Ask me again when we're done. Okay. I think that means I've been using too wet. Alright. Get it going. Alright, I don't care if this streaks. I'm using water. That was ridiculous. Yay, water! It's like watercolors. This is my light setting powder that I use when I want something to be basically colorless, even though it's not. Do you like that? On your cheek? Mm. It doesn't do anything. Mm. Maybe this is a colorless setting powder. You didn't get behind my ears. So? 
Well, you're going to, at one point, you're going to be standing behind me unless you want to Photoshop my ears green. Photoshop it green. Okay. I don't even care. It's going to bug the crap out of me, am I? Look at this. You know what this would look like on stage? A big floating blue or green circle. Yeah. They obviously add a lot to this face. You, <laughs> you can't just put green on yourself and hop on a stage. Oh well, yeah. And plus the, the white the setting power they use is white, so it pales the green a little bit. Uh -huh. And plus she also has like green light on her at all times, so. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's black. I know. I know, you know what you're doing, I'm trusting you. It's not gonna be exactly like Wicked, but it's Wicked inspired, so you gotta do what you gotta do. Right. We're not on Broadway, people. Not yet, anyways. But seriously, I think you would be good on Broadway, doing mm -hmm. makeup. Maybe one day. Some dramatic cheekbone right up in there. All right, Get this light green. Not light enough. All right, going to yellow. You forget my nose is not even, so. Okay. You have to contour it to where it looks straight. I just did. If that's even possible. I just did. Mhm. Mm okay, this but yeah, you might not need, but I'm just brightening your eyes right now. It's yellow. You don't need it. It's probably it's going to show up a little much, I think, but just look up. But I think it has some interesting effects to it. But in the video I saw with Idina Menzel, when she started putting green on it, it was pretty dark. And she just had her regular dressing room lights. Okay. Finally got my passport. Hey, looky there. Legit. It's official. Let's, let's see, let's the see. Country. Renee? What's your picture? What? You're green! What are you staring at? <laughs> Does something in my teeth? Yes! No, I'm not seasick. Yes, I've always been green. And no, I do not eat crap as a child! That's a good look for you. I know. <laughs> now it is. Oh. Okay, come nice and close. Not that much water. We're all so dark looking on this camera. That's the lighting. Yeah, they used to use a brush for the hands, now they use a big sponge. It just makes it easier and it's a little more coverage. Hey, you're all green now. Your hands. Smile. You're not gonna smile? Erica, <laughs> stop it! <laughs>